A county board member in Oscoda County has been convicted of embezzling over $40,000 from the community. Earlier this year, Tina Garwin of Mayo, Michigan was sentenced in felony court and is now in jail, serving a surprisingly short sentence. De facto media group was contacted and made aware that not only is this convicted thief and criminal continuing her two positions within the county upon her future release, but she also shares an address with Oscoda County Judge Cassie Cassandra Lynn Morse Bills. Judge Morse Bills has recently become under fire after a disturbing video of her surfaced in which she talks about how the county needs to issue more tickets and update ordinances for money. Losing a lot of money by not having them. Because instead of issuing tickets to send money to the state, we could be issuing tickets to send money into the county's pocket. Because instead of issuing tickets to send money to the state, we could be issuing tickets to send money into the county's pocket. In 2022, the county granted board member Tina Garwin full access as administrator on its Facebook page. She was also appointed as administrative assistant for the county's home improvement program which deals with state and federal grants for citizens. Once Tina gained access as admin for the county's Facebook page, she began promoting the judge's husband's company, which only can make one wonder if there is a connection. In 2021, this reporter began investigating allegations of Judge Moore spills using her non-profit company known as Oscoda County Transportation Specialists to embezzle money. Moore spills was president and director only until recently, her brother has now taken her place. Oscoda County has not fired or filled Tina's position and it appears her job is awaiting her upcoming release from jail. Tina boasts on her Facebook that she's gone fishing, in reference to her criminal conviction and sentence, and it's clear she is not remorseful. Because instead of issuing tickets to send money to the state, we could be issuing tickets to send money into the county's pocket. This woman, convicted for stealing from the community, taking advantage of unsuspecting citizens that needed help. It's clear there is a connection between the judge and Tina. The judge is involved in several private businesses and shares the same mailing address as Tina. The county's own news is silent and Tina has not been fired. What's clear to this reporter is the following. Birds of a feather really do flock together. And our county's losing a lot of money by not having them. Because instead of issuing tickets to send money to the state, we could be issuing tickets to send money in the county's pocket.